My name is Kyle Evans, I'm a producer from Streatham. Before I got into producing, I got into music. I started learning the piano around year nine, year 10. I was playing up until sixth form, kind of took a break because I reached like a skill cap. Like I was playing things that were like grade eight, but my theory was on zero. So sort of cooled off for a bit. Left college, did an IT apprenticeship, which was hard, you know, going from college to a nine to five. But yeah, in that time, started to learn how to produce using FL Studio. Just fell in love with it. I'm outside, breath deadly, and I ain't singing medleys. Top floor views, trying to figure where my head be. Supreme box logo, and I ain't at the marches, but the same. Me and Dave have been friends from like year seven. So around, as I said, year 10, year nine, he must have been playing PlayStation. He was like, Cow, I'm gonna start learning how to play the piano. You should learn too. I was like, Nah, like, that just seems mad long. But yeah, next day, we went into music played something, I think it was Moonlight Sonata on the piano. I was like, oh my days, that is insane. I need to learn how to play piano. And yeah, we just became like piano rivals and we're just pushing each other to be better and better. So I stopped playing for a bit. And during that time, every time I'd go and link Dave, he was like, Kyle, like, like, you need to get back into piano. I was like, no, I'm retired, I'm retired. And yeah, one time I just linked him. He had FL Studio open. And I was like, right, oh, this looks kind of interesting. Like, show me like how to use it. And in the next few days, we ended up making Attitude together, which was my first release, essentially. And yeah, as I said, from learning it, I would go and link him until I got it myself. Sometimes I have something, I bring it to him, like Psycho, for example, I had something, brought it to him, like, just went in whatever direction that like, we went through and changed it how we wanted to, like, to suit his vocals. Um, with Rule of Two, he just hit me like, yeah, could you sample this? this Braveheart theme for me and Young's Teflon track. And just for some context, the, the sample that's in Rule of Two is one of the first songs me and him learned on piano together. And we also was listening to Young's Teflon at the time, so it's quite poetic, so to speak. When we play piano, we both have just different ears of like how something should resolve or how a chord progression should move or a melody. Um, yeah, and we also are more comfortable with different keys, for example. So yeah, you'll get different things out of each of us if you ask us to play piano. When we come together, obviously you get the best of both worlds, I guess. This wasn't actually the first time that I technically worked with Young's Teflon. When we was making the, the Top Boy soundtrack, me and him made a track, crazy track, but that's just there now, collecting dust as it goes. But the, the, the song I made with Avelino did come out, so we love to see it. Also got a li little sync in the, in the show as well, which we love to see also. I sent like a rough version with the bagpipes in instead of getting it re like instead of the violin and I think that's what they wrote to and recorded to I don't think I was at the studio at the time and then just worked on it essentially just remade the whole beat and to make something like such a big track is beautiful to see so this is the breakdown for Young's Teflon Ruler 2 featuring Dave um, it samples a gift of thistle from the Braveheart film. Initially, I tried to sample the actual piece of music, but it has bagpipes, and if you know, it has a quite a wide frequency range, and it was difficult to sample without it sounding messy. I wanted to get a clean sound for it, so I got it replayed on the violin. And on top of that, I played some piano, played some keys in. The piano's contact, the grand duo, has been my go-to for a long time. I really like the sound, quite realistic sounding piano. It just feels nice to play. With just some EQ, take out some of the low end and some reverb. I'm pretty sure in a later project file I added some more effects onto it though. I think some RC20 to add some width and got a little bit of a subtle 
crystallizer on the violin, kind of like a delay, but it reverses the delayed parts. Can add quite a nice sound to strings, guitar, anything ambient really. And also put a pad underneath to just fill, fill it out a bit more. Together, the pad, violin, piano sounds like this. And next, added the drums. We've got a simple rap beat. Here you can see a lot of different sounds in here that I tried just to get the right sort of drum sound for this kind of track. Even experimented with the AO8 as you can see here, but I ended up going for a sub bass. This here just follows the chords, but with a couple slides. And the hats. Manipulate the velocity of every other hat just to give it a bit of swing, I guess. Instead of just like straight high hats, all at the same velocity. Finally, the last bit I added, again, some arcade. I really like ambient vocals for just adding a bit of variation in different sections, filling some space. Also, it's good for this type of beat, well, any emotional beat really, all together. Yeah, at the end of the track, there's a long section of just the piano and violin playing out together. This is probably one of the only tracks where I've been able to just play like a mad, complicated piano line. Even though this one could be more complicated, but it was nice to just play and not like tone it back too much. And yeah, that's how the beat for Rule of Two was made. There's a lot of niggas fitting in a tight space. It's Jimmy Conway, not Jimmy Fallon.